What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tyrebox123 and in this video I'm going to be showing you the Geekbench benchmark score on this, the Retina MacBook Pro. So here we are guys, let's just run up Geekbench now and see what kind of score it gives us. I'm gonna put it into 64-bit mode because this is all 64-bit. And let's just run that benchmark now. Be very interested to see what score we get out. Obviously I just did the Windows Experience Index. I will leave a little annotation somewhere around here that you can click and go and check that out. But be very interested to see the Geekbench score. In future videos I'm gonna compare this particular Retina MacBook Pro to the 15 inch MacBook Pro and also the 13 inch MacBook Air and we'll do some geek benches on all of them and just see how exactly they all compare. But for this one we're just doing it on this Retina MacBook Pro and I'll be very interested like I say to see just what kind of score comes out of it. Now we've got that new Ivy Bridge quad core processor. This one is the baseline model so it's the 2.3 gigahertz quad core i7 boosting all the way up to 3.3 gigahertz, eight gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR RAM, and the 256 gig of flash storage, along with that 650M one gigabyte graphics card. So here we go, 12,070. So integer performance, 10,514. Floating point performance, 17,811. Memory performance, 6755 memory bandwidth performance 8055. Let's just upload that to the Geekbench scorers and then we will run the comparison and just see where this comes on the chart. So let's click on the Mac benchmark chart, head our way down to 12,000 mark. So the closest thing to it is another MacBook Pro Retina. Um, my one coming in slightly faster than that. And then we've also got a eight core X serve in there, Xeon processor X serve. Slightly above it at 12260, we've got a 15 inch MacBook Pro, but that's running at 2700 megahertz. And then slightly above that, we've got an eight core mid 2010 Mac Pro. Slightly below that, we've got a early 2009 Mac Pro with eight cores again. And then slightly below that, we've got a 15 inch mid 2012 MacBook Pro running at 2.6 gigahertz. So a fairly decent score there from the Retina MacBook Pro. Anyway guys, hope you found this interesting. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.